Now that the LR Blue Boys are finally out, I wanted to go ahead and talk about what is their best team, right? What is their best rotation? Because I've gotten, honestly, a lot of questions about that. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. What's his best team? All right, and what's his best rotation? How can you maximize this guy? Whether you pulled one copy, two copies, or even if you even if you wailed out and you went ahead and rainbowed him, right? So LR Blue Boys, <clears throat> they're very, very, very strong. Let's go ahead and just take a look at their links really quick. So Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So <clears throat> just from this link set, you can already kind of you know tell what units you want to bring with him, right? You might want to bring some pure saiyan units right who are on realm of gods maybe right super saiyan godly power warrior gods kamehameha that's a lot of goku units right um legendary powers a lot of lrs fierce battles so these are some so you can kind of already kind of like tell right because maybe I, I know a lot of people aren't the best at building teams and that's perfectly okay um but the way i used to go about it when i didn't know either was just take a look at their links and just try to guess you know okay who would link up the best because tournament power obviously we know the units that are in the tournament of power are going to have that link right so i want to kind of uh you know gauge it off that is this is what i'm trying to look for um now if i know if i have if there's a unit part of tournament of power who was on who maybe he's actually on the realm of gods category right maybe he might have godly power or warrior gods right maybe it was goku from tournament of power who did the kamehameha so bam you have the kamehameha link right maybe that gives an lr and then you have legendary power so stuff like that Right, so make sure to just keep that in the back of your mind whenever you guys want to go ahead and build a team. And then his categories, Universal Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saints, Full Power, Reps of Universe 7, Join Forces, Kamehameha, and All Out Struggle. I'm going to tell you guys right now, All Out Struggle is not a team you want to run this guy on. I'm sorry. I, I for the Just don't do it, all right? you don't. If you want to maximize this unit, none of these LRs, okay, are, are here to maximize this unit. It's just the way it is. Right, I mean, there's some units here that are actually very good, um, but none of these LRs are here to maximize. Right, there's one unit here who who, who can actually maximize this guy, um, who happens to be on the team. But the reason why we're not going to pick this specific team is because if we go back, you notice that this guy gives key three and 150% to all stats, which is very very good, very 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 strong. But guess guess what's guess what's just a little bit stronger? This LR right here okay so this lr you want to bring this guy as your lead yes i mean on rotation with this guy they might they might not link up the best because i know they share what uh tournament power legendary power uh fierce battle and that's pretty much it right so in terms of linking they don't link up the best but look at this key three and 177 percent to all stats that's what this is the reason why this is so important is because when you have double and then trust me there's still a lot of people who still use this guy as their friend lead so um or like their friend support so you can definitely find this guy you can definitely definitely find this guy um so 177 times two if you if, correct me if i'm wrong but that's like 354 percent or something along those lines that's a huge buff to a unit like this but that's also a huge buff to lr ui goku lr ui goku looks disgusting on this team so not 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 only is this talking about this guy's best situation but just this team in general right all these lrs are just gonna be looking absolutely amazing yes this team is very limited very limited and i understand that and it's, it's gonna continue growing but 177 percent is what you need to go for of course uh if you can't pull that off then you might want to run this guy as lead but another unit that's actually really 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 important to both you know this guy's power and in terms of his links right here we have this guy right here that I feel like a lot of people over... Can I please click this guy? Okay, I guess that's fine. Oh, I was able to click his SSR, but not his TUR. That's cool. Let's go ahead and click on his TUR here. So, this guy right here. The reason why he's also very, very, very solid as, as a you know another option. He may not give 177%, but he does give attack and defense 170%. So, your HP won't be as high, but your, your attack and defense is going to be pretty freaking close, you know? And another great thing is this guy shares six, six links, six links with this guy right here. Which links are they? Godly Power, Warrior God, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha. Again, we go over here. Uh, we have Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha. He also has Tournament Power and a Fierce Battle. So Tournament Power and Fierce Battle. So 
all of these links are absolutely amazing, right? Godly power. Is, can I not see what this link does? Why is this, this like glitches out for me so much? Okay, there we go. Super Saiyan is giving attack plus 15%, Godly power attack plus 15% and chance of performing critical hit. We have Warrior Gods attack plus 10% again, and attack plus 5% when performing a super attack, which is proctored in differently, which is actually a little bit more than 5%. Kamehameha attack plus 10% on super attack. Corner power, key 3 attack and defense plus 7%, and then Fierce Battle attack plus 20%. All of that attack, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Between these two units. Now, the reason why this guy is also very optimal is because you can run him as both friendly. Like, let's say you have this guy. There's also, I mean, I don't really have trouble finding this guy as a friend lead, so... Having a double 170, and the reason, the reason why I'm saying this too is just for team building, because you want to have two of these guys on your team. One to link up with this guy... And the other to link up with, uh, um, let's just pull up the category again one more time because I think I closed it off. But LRUI Goku, right? This is He's another best linking buddy, basically, with LRUI Goku. So if you have, you know, one of these guys on on rotation with this guy and another rotation on with LRUI Goku, you have a phenomenal, a really, really strong team, right? And then to really activate this last link here, because remember, they do have legendary power. All you need there is an LR. You need an LR basically on rotation so it can be if we go back to reps of, reps of universe 7 it can be lr Go, uh, goku and frieza it can be lr ui goku and that's pretty much it for now but guess what dude guess what guess what i'm pretty sure lr mui goku is coming right um, guess where lr mui goku is going to be on this category right here guess where evolution blue vegeta is going to be on this category right here guess where i mean a, a gohan and piccolo unit might be on this category right here guess probably what what, what an lr you know I don't know, um, MVP 17 will be right here. So and maybe an LR Master Roshi from Tournament Power. Guess what he's going to be right here. So this category has so much freaking potential. It's absolutely insane. But this unit right here, no, not this unit, this unit right here, being on rotation, okay, being on rotation with this Goku and then having that LR to fill in that last slot is going to be so freaking strong. And then you also have someone like this guy right here, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. So, uh, so, th so the way you would want to build this team really quick is you want to have this guy as your lead, right? Then this guy obviously on the team, L O U I Goku on the team. I understand if you don't have all those L R S, that's I I perfectly understand that. Um, and but you also want to have this seventeen floating right here, right? Because the reason why this seventeen is so good is he's giving sixty percent defense. This lags out like crazy. Sixty percent defense to all allies. So. If, if you're able to collect a bunch of orbs with this guy and raise your defense up dramatically per key sphere, factoring in that they greatly raise attack and defense on both 12 and 18 key, that's 50% by the way, okay? And then you smack on a 60% defense. You, you get what I'm saying, right? This is why this guy can turn out to... He can look like... As you've heard of many people say, one of the best LRs in the game. He can definitely, definitely, definitely look like that. The question is, do you have the units capable of doing that, right? Now, again, if you don't have uh, this guy, perfectly understandable. But again, 177% is going to bring out the absolute best. There's no other team better um, for this guy. Because, again, 177% is just a lot more than everything else. Not only that, all of these units that I'm, that I'm mentioning, this guy right here, this guy right here, they're on that team. So it's... I'm not like asking you to bring like LRB Pan or something like that. This is this is best case scenario. Again, if you let's say let's say you don't have this guy either, right? Which you know I, I completely understand. Um, not not everyone pulls, uh, you know these these crazy 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 units, right? Rep City Unit Seven. Unfortunately, we're not blessed with that many leaders, and I know for a fact people aren't going to be running AGL Krillin as a lead. Um, I mean, it, you can, sure, you know, I haven't even pulled him yet, but that's crazy, but I guess you can, sure, um, you wouldn't be running Monaka as elite either, um, but this team overall, like, let's just say Repsol Universe 7 is just out of the question for you, you don't have this guy, or you don't have this guy, let's go back to this LR so I can show you guys, Realm of Gods is a, another, where is Realm of Gods, Realm of Gods is another amazing option for this guy, because not only does Realm of Gods have so much support, right? Realm of Gods is actually really, really, really strong, because guess what? You still have units like LRUI Goku. Guess who you still have on there? Guess, guess just, just guess. Just guess for like two seconds who else you have on here. Let's go, let's go on to STR. Ah, uh, wait, where, where is he? Because I can't, now I can't even, oh, wait, 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 where is he? Where's the, um, oh, right here, right? This guy right here. Okay, so the Kaoken Goku's here. Okay, I want to say. So Kaoken Goku is here. You have him here. And then you have amazing support units 
like um, this West uh, AGOS Kai right here, this Tech Supreme Opie of Time. Like, there's just so many support type units for this team that this is possible as well. And then you can still make some crazy, crazy teams. Like, you can have Tech Vegito Blue, then um, this Gogeta on one rotation, and then this guy alongside, you know, this guy on another rotation, led by I don't know. Um, Beerus, right? Uh, and you can have like we like th again. This team is just absolutely amazing. This unit is just absolutely amazing. And they, they, they don't fall under that, not the trap, but the thing where units are really good only on like one specific category or like on a category, but the units that you need to run them on aren't really on the category, right? For like example, like the physical, the new Vegeta, well not the new Vegeta, but the Angel Vegeta, the LR. He leads worthy rivals, but you need a Goku on the team. So, Goku's not on Worthy Rivals, right? So, th that's like the thing I'm trying to talk, like, I don't necessarily know how that makes sense, but this guy, all I, like, just disregarding his categories, because I don't really like his category, um, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily run it. I mean, for memes, you can try to run it, for showcases, sure, why not? But, this guy, on Rip Super 7, is the best choice. If you don't have those options, then Realm of Gods, I would say, is definitely the, the, the way to go. Now, guess where else, okay? Guess where else you can make very similar teams? We're talking about Pure Saiyans. Now, Pure Saiyans, in terms of supports, I mean, it has decent support. Um, not, I, don't, I think Realm of Gods definitely has a lot more, but you're still building something very, very, very interesting here. Now, unfortunately, Evolution Blue Vegeta is giving 130% defense, which is not really what you want to see. Um, now, and then this Vegeta gives 150% to all, all stats, so that's also very, very fine. But guess who you have on this category? You have units like LRUI Goku. All right, of course, these guys are here as well. If we scroll down uh, to STR, guess who we have here? This guy right here. So the options are still there, right? And you can still bring so many LRs to activate the legendary power link and boom, you're going to be good to go, right? So this guy, best reps of Universe 7, secondary Realm of Gods, and if you can't do that, then I would say pure stands, but no matter, no matter what, He's still gonna be looking like extremely, extremely good as long as you get him those orbs. So let me know what you guys think of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, hit like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.